Jasun Okroho from Scatterwork to talk about mastering your virtual project. The scenario is that you or one of your subordinates has been given a significant real world challenging once off assignment. We'll call that a project where the team involved are in different places. We'll call it a virtual project. Now, if we think about the risks of a project, one of them, even in the best of circumstances, is that the team uh, do, do not get involved as much as you'd like. They have misunderstandings. Uh, they don't. They're not available, and all that sort of stuff that happens. But when you have a virtual team, the the risks there shoot up enormously. For example, if somebody's interaction with the rest of the team who speak a different language in an accent they don't understand very well is just through a screen, then their feeling of buy-in is, is proportionately much, much less. So you have a very high project risk. So a project like that really needs a structured way of getting going. So that's what we're offering here. We're using a simulator, a project simulator, which has an interface like this here, and it's called Simultrain. It's been used by about 150,000 people um, and is very much liked. We divide up your people, your team, into groups of three or four, and each of them has one instance of the project. They plan the project, then the simulator starts, and during the simulation uh, they get some challenges. For example, equipment doesn't work or somebody reports in ill and they have to change their plan. Um, every now and then we stop the simulation and we have a period of what we could call experiential learning. In other words, we look back and say, well, why was it so hard to communicate with each other? Or why did we make the wrong decision there? Was it something to do with our team dynamic? Or did we understand each other? What could we do better? Now, we want that the, the team itself, the real team, uh, ends up uh, feeling much more involved that they would have done if this didn't take place. So the way that we do it is that we have three three-hour sessions on three consecutive days. You cannot expect a team to suddenly spark into action, you know, for the sake of a one-hour uh, seminar or something like that. It just doesn't work. People have to actually genuinely work together. And this balance is far less demanding on resources and time in particular. Um, than it would be to do the same sort of thing in a face-to-face -face environment where people had to travel um, and uh, stay in hotels and pay for airplanes and all the rest of it that goes with it. And the outcome is, at the end, we find that people really do feel more or less as if they were in the same room here. And that reduces the risks on your project absolutely enormously. So I invite you to contact us if you're in a scenario like that. You have a real world, once off, challenging assignment where your team in different places and you really want to bring the risks down and get the thing off to a, a very good start. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.